Hey guys, this is Kean Graham, CEO of Monetize More. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your AdSense tags compatible with GDPR. As you can see here, this is an AdSense tag. And I'm going to show you how to block it before any EU user provides consent to give their data to any type of third party. So you don't want these AdSense tags showing up before because they can show personalized data, which is a violation of GDPR and can be very expensive for your company. So we started in the first video to show you how to make your Google Analytics code compatible with GDPR. So you block that unless you users provide consent. So we started we kind of left off with this code so that Google Analytics is fully compatible. And we are now going to make a little adjustment so that the Google AdSense is properly blocked. So we're going to copy this, pgjs.load.js. And we're, this is a below a asynchronous AdSense tag. It's GDPR compatible. And we're going to replace the URL with this one so that it properly blocks the important part of the AdSense tag so that it doesn't display when it is not supposed to. So this is what you need so that Google, the GDPR code is Google Analytics and Google AdSense compatible. So now we're going to implement it within the site. And what we use within PVP resource packs is a WordPress plugin called AdFunk header footer code. I recommend it. The link is within this Google doc that's going to be provided in the YouTube description. Okay. So we're going to copy it in here. Okay. And then save that. And what we also have to do is adjust the Google AdSense tag. So here's the compatible AdSense tag that we're going to have to make some adjustments. However, the issue is Google tends to give uh, the ad tags in synchronous. So I'm going to, we're going to show you in this video how to adjust synchronous to asynchronous. So here within the AdSense interface is an example of synchronous code. I'm going to paste it right over here. And we need to make four adjustments. So the width, the height, the pub ID, and the slot ID. So we'll start with the pub ID. We'll copy this. Put her over here. Then the slot ID. Put it right here, and then the width and the height 300 by 600. So the width is 300, and the height is 600. Okay, so now we have that, and an important part is we need to take out the top script because this is going to be loaded via the GDPR code. So it's going to be restricted whenever an EU user does not consent, and it will be provided via the header whenever an EU user consents or a non-EU user happens to be browsing the site. So I'm going to take that out, and then I'm going to be replacing the synchronous ad tag within the site with this GDPR compatible AdSense tag. So I'm going to go to my ad plugin that we use and see, you can see the synchronous code. And replace it with the GDPR compatible one, save the changes, and now we're going to test it. So I'm going to do a hard refresh on the site, and we're going to use the GPR code uh, appended uh, strings to properly test whether the changes you made actually worked. So we're going to, here we go. I'll just make sure that it was properly refreshed. Okay. 
And as you can see, there's no ads that show up. So the AdSense tags were blocked until I give consent. And there's the AdSense tag right there. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you make your AdSense tags compatible. This site that the only things that was running that properly, uh, that actually takes uh, data from any type of users, you need to block it before any EU users give consent. So this, in this case, it's AdSense and Google Analytics, and that's how you would properly be GDPR compatible. Okay, I hope that was useful. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.